Uh, <laughs> we just loaded up here at Cool Stop. We're getting ready to head down to Eugene? the fifth annual, fifth? a vintage show and swap down there. So you're familiar with the rigs. We're bringing them. And if we go. And we have a, a, a tricycle in there that Anthony wanted to bring. <laughs> All right, let's hit the road. All right, I'm here with my buddy Doug. He's got a couple of gems here. First off, you got the Browning two speed in the box. Yeah. If you're not familiar with the Browning two speed, you want to fill them in why this is kind of bit was popular. What, 83, 84? Yeah, I think that's about right. Probably about 84. And everybody knows Browning from, uh, you know, the shotgun folks. Yeah. And, uh, I think it was the grandson that uh, wanted to make some bike components. There was actually a, a Browning 10 speed that was made. Uh, Jay Graves from the bike gallery was telling me about it today. So they actually did make wow. some 10 speeds back in the day. But the grandson uh, was interested in coming up with some precision parts for BMX. And they had uh, a relationship with Jim Melton or they formed a relationship with Jim Melton from JMC and came out with this and Jim Milton got a hold of Daryl Young, and Daryl is probably the most well-known rider to ever ride with the uh, Browning two-speed. And he rode and, that well into Kuahara too, yeah, right? that's right. Yeah, he did. He, he had it on his uh, DY, and then when he, JMC was, had closer doors, he did put it on his uh Because I think he had the BMX bike. action that's cover right. with the Browning two-speed on yep, it. Yep, yep. So, yeah, I just picked this up. Um, it came with the manuals. Um, I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm going to mount it, but, you know, I've got a JMC DY myself. And so I just kind of felt like when I saw it, I, I thought, you know, this is kind of a unique piece, kind of unique to the JMC history. Yeah. So, um, that's and us, be, and us being Oregon guys and just yep. the Daryl Young connections. That's great exactly too. exactly right. Yeah. I mean, that's why I have the affinity I do for JMC to begin with. Um, just from, you know, Daryl being in our own backyard and yeah. kids growing up and, uh, but yeah, very nice, uh, doesn't look to ever been mounted and, uh, still in pristine shape in the, in the box. Uh, like I said, with the manual. So that's awesome. Yeah. Let's take a peek at this little rig you got here. I don't think we looked at this one last year. Yeah, this is, uh, now this is the blue color and I've heard earlier that they only did two of these, right? I had heard that too, but I did ask Daryl about it, and he said that he had gotten a call from Jim when he was on the team, and there was a team, uh, if I recall correctly, what Daryl told me was that there was a team out of Texas that wanted to have uh, some blue color DYs, and Jim asked him if that would be okay. Yeah. And Daryl said, go ahead and do it. And um, so apparently there was about 12 of these uh, according to Daryl, that ended up in in Texas at some point. Okay, and was this a, was this originally blue, or did you? No, know? this is not blue. I bought it this way, um, but uh, I have the certificate and was originally chromed, and I think it was just in uh, enough. You know, yeah, I mean, I've, we've yeah. seen plenty of DYs with like layers. Of, I mean, my yeah. a dude I talked to just got one in England, and it's pumpkin orange, and I know they never did them in that. So. Exactly. Yeah, but I think you know uh, whoever did it. 
it did looks a nice. Darn yeah. Good job and wanted to keep it as close to kind of JMC blue as they have. But uh, what hubs are yeah. these? Uh, campies. So uh, you know, this is kind of set up the way that my DY would have been set up um, as a kid. Yeah. I had a I had a white. Um, DY and they only made 72 of those. And okay. I made the mistake of selling years ago and always wanted a DY back and and this was my uh, my purchase. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing with us, Doug. I appreciate it. Chad, thanks. Those are original for the bike, and then I actually found a pair that I stuck on the last year. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 just something different instead of, you know, lollipops or the normal bikes. Have been checked out very well. Make sure. All right, Dave, you going in on the race? Yes. We'll do it up. Minutes, no classes. You're minutes. just going. We're gonna run the round. The only class I'm gonna do is hopefully, hopefully the fast we'll one. The <laughs> All right. Good luck, Dave. <laughs> Anthony, what do you think about the rad racing uh, track? I hope I can make it. It's a little longer than I expected. You hyped? Oh yeah. You push anybody into the uh, pond? Like That's the movie my goal. rad? Better not be your boy. Oh, oh going man. in. <laughs> going in. I'm not going in. <laughs> Would that be your push? <laughs> the hill. Evan. Either one of you guys, don't care. Okay, we're going to get this thing going on, guys. Vintage bike race. Evan, give me your thoughts on this vintage race. You going in? How's the special eyes going to hold up for you today? Doing some filming. It's good in Frogtown. How do you think it's going to do on this rad racing course? All right. What do you think about starting hill straight to soft gravel? I think Randy's truck is going to get ruined. All right, I'm here with uh, Francois. He's the track operator. Francois, what type of race do we got going on here? We got a rad style race, Shad. And like qual the qualifying. Like the from qualifier from the movie. We're gonna come off the back of this hill, charging down here, out to the uh, out through the middle of the park, out to that bridge. And we're gonna take a hard left there. Hopefully everybody actually makes it. We're gonna hit the goat trails all the way up around the park here. Now, I tell you what, there's a water booter out there. Somebody's probably gonna get wet. It could get nasty, <laughs> I'm telling you. We're gonna come all the way around the outside of that park. We're gonna end up here on the back side of the track, and we're gonna do a three-quarter lap all the way to the finish line. I expect somebody is gonna have a heart attack and probably barf. We're gonna get this thing going. All right. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get... You guys ready for this? Oh, yeah, we're ready. Uh, no. <laughs> no I got, I got a free lap elbow. Oh, whoa, whoa. Man is risking it all today, my man. He's already, look, he's already went down once on that. Okay, I'm getting it. Get set, go. We got beauty in a blue shirt, too. Yeah. 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 everyone falling across the bridge. Oh, 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 oh. It was the guy who <laughs> See that kid in sure front, we he went the he he went straight. And he was supposed to turn, but yeah, the way he do it straight, he would have hit the tree. Get it, Dave. Are 
Are you dying? Are you dying? I'm dying? Help me, Jesus! <laughs> Help me, Tom Cruise! <laughs> Hold on, who won? Who won? Trent Jones got first place, Wyatt cheated, got second place, I got the real second place. And who came in third? I didn't see who came in third. This guy, dude, was out ripping yeah, down the hill. He was road. ripping Come on the hill. way out front, dude, and no. he just says, going straight. Oh, were you the one that went straight? <laughs> He went straight at the oldest bike out here. The fastest start on the 1978 Schwinn, baby. Let's go. Hold it up high, man. Whole shot right here. Evan, how was the race? And how, how long was that track? Too long. How, how was it back in the woods? It's pretty good. Anthony cheated at the end. Anthony cheated? Cut the entire track. <laughs> All right. All right. You're gonna be just racing vintage races from now on, aren't you? You yeah. and the you and the fat boy. I don't think he's got another race. You don't think he's got another? I I might be with you on that. Maybe with new cranks. How was the race for you, Wyatt? It was good. Had a six start. Old boy went straight. See, I went, Anthony I almost hit the van. Dude, I didn't know the track, so he went straight. I'm like, follow him. He's fast. He and then I cut the track like Crew Jones would, and I got disqualified. Hey, hey, hey. How'd the 89 s and dirt bike hold up for you? Like a champ for the first half lap. And then like after that, the bike can't do nothing. Cause when the guy riding it- Oh, it's okay, out of shape. okay. <laughs> My legs are on fire. <laughs> God dang it. Trenton. Yeah. How was the race? Oh my gosh. Are you still catching your breath? Dude, my legs have not hurt this bad. I don't know how long. <laughs> That was endurance. What do you think about your brother cheating? He just couldn't beat me out rising. He said Crew Jones did that. Yeah, Crew Jones did a backflip. He just missed the corner. Okay, all right. Well, congrats on the win. Thank you. He did a brakeless. A oh, brakeless. Maybe you should be disqualified. No, <laughs> I'm here with Matt Lovegrove. What up, buddy? This bike's been catching my eye all day, and I've heard talk about it. So, do you want to fill us in on this? We got a Titan. Is this just the tie light frame? Yeah, it's a TE 1000. Daryl always ran the tie light stickers when he was on Titan, and I rode Titan stickers. And this is Daryl's bike right now. This is Daryl's bike. Yeah. I always ran Titan stickers, so my bike has Titan stickers on it, but my bike isn't finished. This is... I bet he's on a desk we get. I got a stack of them. That's something to all y'all, man. I got a stack of them. Oh, yep, they're on the inside. And they were made by Tom Corey. So this is a new bike. Yeah, we've only had them six months. Okay. Tom Corey, the one that does Hustler. Okay. And he's doing VDC for right now. Okay. He did these for Daryl. We sent Daryl's original bike with the longer rear end. The front end on his bike was too short, so we made the front end longer. Yeah. Daryl's is 21 and a quarter. Mine's 21 and a half. Daryl did a one inch head tube, and I did an inch and an eighth head tube. But these are the original forks. And this this is a real rider bike. Like you could go. Yeah. yeah. Daryl only finished it this morning. Oh, really? Yeah, you only put tires and stuff on this morning. The brakes went on yesterday. Yeah, this thing just had me drooling all day, so I just want to know about it. 
So are you guys planning on doing more of these or just kind of just for you guys since you both rode for Titan? Yeah. So my So then uh, can I call you guys? We're going to go hit the pump track and All right. All right. All right, my cruiser is not. This thing's I I know this bike just so pretty looking, man. And oddly, we both did white. Yeah. Because the stickers pop more on the white frames and the red frames. And I didn't want to do the features in black because of the stickers don't stick to it as well too. Yeah. His one original one was chrome. I had a red one, I had a white one, I had a yellow one. And the red was kind of the Titan color, wasn't it? Yeah. Most of mine were red. I've had two white ones. I have a broken white one at home. I don't think that was well, awesome. <laughs> I, I think that's awesome, man. So. Okay, I am here. Spaced your name again. Okay, uh, you've got a 79 GJS? 79 GJS. And what's kind of the story behind it? You were telling me earlier. Uh, well, my childhood bike, I bought this uh, in 1979, uh, working at a bike shop for probably two eighty-five, three three bucks an hour or something like that. And how much was this back then? About 400 bucks total. That's a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah, the frame was 100 bucks, the forks were 40 bucks, the pedals were 10 bucks. Yeah, you know, lots of twenty and forty dollar parts. I paid sixty bucks for the wheels. I remember buying the wheels. It was like, wow, holy cow! I got some race wheels. Yeah, that's crazy. What forks are these? These are Cycle Pro. They're Tangy Made Cycle Pros. Okay. And so you've held on to this the whole time. Yep, always been mine. That's awesome. And how many? How how long did you race this for? Pretty much just seventy nine to early eighty. I've, I actually took it to the Jag World Championships in nineteen seventy nine. Really? Yeah. Wow. The Colorado competitors team, you know, they were copying the SE bus at the time. We had a bus and the bus broke on the way home and our everybody's parents had to come to the middle of Nebraska <laughs> in a snowstorm and get us. Really? Yeah. Well, I was just super excited that this was the bike that you own because it's like pretty rare nowadays for a dude to have his first like bike that he's attached to. So, and it's still like, I mean, you can tell it's been ridden, but it's still in great shape. Yeah. Yeah. I, I put new new uh, grips, new brake pads, and I redid the number plate that I last had with it. Okay. Um, but other than that, it's 100% uh, of the parts that it got put away with in 1980. So are these still the tires too? Yeah, these are original tires. Wow, those are in really good shape for yeah. for being that old. Yeah. It's been, it's been you know, garaged pretty much yeah. the entire life. Hey, I saw, I saw it scooting around today, so. Yeah. Well, cool, thank you for sharing this thing. I, 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 yeah, I was just excited that it was a your rig, so I wanted to talk about it. So, you thank you. you Section we go 
Yogu Bar on the hot seat. There we go, man. Everybody all the time takes it upstairs. Liz on the big wheel of motor down here out there. Both of the brakes clean off the back side of the bike. Those L pranks are all right now. Yeah, they are L pranks. They're late. Sooner or later, but it's all fine. I'll bring it to the bike. 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 I'll bring it Matthew Merriger, Grayson Jackson, River Jones, and Knox Pickleton. Tiny tanks, here it is, man. Two for a BMX up in the gate. Hey, I'm Shad. Chad and Jason. Hey, nice to meet you. So this is uh, this is your free agent limo here? Yes. And this has been your bike the whole time? It actually, I bought it from the guy who had it brand new in the box Wow. five years ago. Okay. And then I had a bunch of these old parts from my old free agent when I was younger. Yeah, this thing looks like, it looks just straight out of, you know. It's all original. Like, it sat in the box so long that... A bunch of the stickers actually started to curl. Oh, I can, over the can see these hubs are pretty crazy too. Those Mavic hubs. The Mavics on the Schmooks. Are these GT bars? And they're the GTs. Yeah. Yeah, they look taller. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, those are like the original. I got those Revcore pedals new probably in 89. I got those. Yeah, these are awesome. It's kind of hard to find the missing screws, but. Yeah. I know. It's actually pretty much just been finished up the way it is now, this last weekend. Yeah, you got some yellow label comp threes. Yep. Yeah, this thing's awesome. I was just walked up and I was like, <laughs> you know, like there's certain bike seats show and you're like, this is a this is a real yeah. one, you know? Yeah, it it actually like in the beginning I was kind of just wanted to build it like the bikes I remember when I first started. Yeah. Just started in racing in late '88. Yeah. And everybody had one of these things. Yeah, I mean, this was, they had these until kind of the homes came out and then it was kind of back and forth between yep. the like homes and these. Daily and all those, all free agent guys. Yep. Like, so I, I mean, free agent, it. I feel like free agent up till like 96 was super dope, yeah, you know? Good. Yeah, and then they, they sold out and they yeah. went to a different. But they always had such a good image and dope dudes, you know? And their dudes always could kind of jump and stuff. Yeah, like, who was it? Like Kenny May and a few of the. Yep, Kenny May, Day May. Yeah, Chrissy Daly, all those guys. Chrissy yeah. Daly was like my age. He was like 13, he had a full mustache. So yeah. Like facial hair, and I can grow now. But uh, yeah, so it's recently, like the last week or two, it's probably been like my favorite almost. Like, it's it's awesome, man. So how about even these other ones too that were yeah. my favorite of the time. And, uh, this is my go-to ride all the time. I'll just ride it. That technique? Yeah. yeah. I'll just ride it. But then this bike is going like. This one, I just love the silhouette of bikes from this era. Yeah. That's, so. I appreciate it. All right. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate right, it. Yeah. Hey, my name's Shad. I'm Doug. Nice hey, to meet you. Uh, I see you got some pretty clean late 80s rigs here. Yeah. Yep. But for some reason, this purple torker, too, was catching my eye. Uh, how long you had this rig for? I've had that for about four years now. Okay. Uh, when I got it, it was all original. That color scheme, everything about it was all all intact and on there. Yeah. Uh, the only thing it needed was tires because the tires were original too. But of course they uh, they didn't have any tread left on them. Yeah. And so I went through, dismantled it, cleaned every nut and bolt, washer, everything. It's still all original parts, but parts. But I did go back through and uh, have it repainted. Yeah. The same original color scheme and everything. And then since I ride all my bikes, I put uh, new school grips on it as well as the tires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, it's the Tioga version, which is ultra rare. It's uh, 
Oh, okay. components to select the oh, it's a, so the these are Tioga Airwalk bars. Yeah. And in reference to the 87 Torker, those are Torker. Bars. So this is a Tioga version of the Torker? Right. right. So it's a special made. Okay. Uh, Tioga and Torker came together, created a, a concept. Yeah. This is what they came up with. What's, what detangler is that there on That's it? It's a Tioga. Really? Yep. Tioga Tange Tangler. I've never really seen any of those. Nope. Wow. It's the only one I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that's great. I saw it. I'm like, oh, it looks like a mini pro rotor, you know? Yep. And again, the only reason why I even have it is because that was original. Yeah. Like, so, but yeah, even the seat clamp. Uh, oh, yeah. The going. seat post. The seat of slap. The seat's pretty cool. Right? So it's the Tioga Freestyle. Yeah. Which on the back, it's got a little handle. So when you're doing your tricks yep, and yep. stuff, it's you've got, got a little grabber. Busy. And with it being the 540, it's got the mover all the way on the tail thing yeah. right there. On the uh, so that's on the 540s. It's got all six of the slats, and then like on the 360 and the 280, they've only got them on the back portion. Right oh, there. okay. So it's more on those bikes. It's more of using your toe for a trick. Yeah. Just when you've got your whole foot in there, toe, whatever you want. Nice. A lot more stability, but yeah, I love this thing. Yeah, it's super clean. Well, cool, man. Thank you for sharing this with us. I just going around kind of filming everybody, talking with them about their rigs. So. Appreciate it. All right, thank you very much. Thanks, man. That limo? The first bike I ever broke was a Hutch. Pro Street? No, it was a, my cousin's race bike. <laughs> Didn't they make a repot? Yeah, yeah, they did. So they just had extra to make air for them. got to make more of those shirts. I just landed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Matt. Where this, this is a little late. We were supposed to film a thing on your bike oh, yeah. during Frogtown. Foo got to me before you did. Yeah. Even yeah. though we went on the trip together, but uh. Yeah. Give me a rundown of uh, your ultimate. Would you would you say that you set this up just for vintage racing, pretty much? Yeah, I set this up specifically for Frogtown. So. Okay, and you raced it today during the vintage yeah. race. All right, what do we yeah, got well, here? This is a '98 Diamondback Viper XL. So is this um, 21 top tube? 21 top tube. Chromoly main tubes. Just main tubes, it's not even a chrome ollie. No. Oh, risking it, but yeah. I know. I think that's kind of. I mean, if you're racing like the vintage bikes. Just get something you can thrash on. I still feel like it's safer than all, all the aluminum frames. Yeah, because aluminum does get soft yeah. after a while. So, and we've ridden it a lot. A lot of people have ridden it too. And yeah. It's held up. So, and then it's mostly, it was mostly stock when I got it. Stock stem, stock fork, headset. Um, previous owner had put some flights on it. What did you got? What type of chain ring is that there with the little fish or whatever? Rocket. I don't know anything about it. Oh, rocket. Hmm. A pro neck chain ring, 40, 47. You really got it set up yeah, for the downhill. Yeah. I got 48 spoke Braun Traeger wheels. And you got unusual. the mid nineties, late nineties, double, double pinch flights. Yeah. And I think they were put on there in the nineties. Okay. And then you've got, it's a shame somebody cut this plate, but you got a cardboard Lord's plate. Yeah. That kind of fits your stem. Cardboard Perfect. Lord's spray uh, plate. How's this? I mean, does this thing ride actually pretty good? Yeah. I like it. For, for an old bike, it rides good. Yeah, so this yeah. is just your old thrash around bike? Yeah, yeah. and I, the only thing I swapped because I couldn't stand was the the, the Diamondback bars. Had a lot of upsweeps, so I put these GT bars, which I'm not... I don't know oh, they're like about. the 065s, aren't they? With the big, yeah. bigger crossbar. Those actually feel good, though. Yeah. Do they just feel kind of like slams, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it feels really good. The DK grip. So I tried to keep it period correct. I think I did all right. Yeah, no, I mean, it looks good, and... It does its purpose, and you've yeah. actually raced it a decent amount of times. Yeah, raced it quite a bit. So, all right, cool. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Okay, so I'm here with Rick. How's it going, buddy? Hello. Uh, I've been looking at this bike, you know, since Frogtown, and now it's here. I get a chance to talk with you about it. Um, this is Tom Lund's bike from the mid mid seventies, early seventies. Okay, and this is a this. 
Wayne King Monoshock. Okay, so were these production or with? It was limited production. Okay, and can can we kind of just run through the spike because there's kind of a lot of cool things going on with it. Well, basically, it's a Tom Long spike shock. But I'm Tom Long's bike. The guy used to ride for for Rick Tuvey from Rick Spike. Shop. Yeah. He uh, he was he needed something that was a little bit sturdier than the average thing that was being out there. So Wayne King decided to make him a mono shop. Yeah. So he used the front end of a Yamaha motorbike, which is basically a DT70 motorcycle, mini bike for it. Yeah. He used motorcycle tires. Yeah, I was about to say, these are, these tires are gnarly. Oh yeah, they're, they're a mini cycle. Okay. Uh, the one, Wendy Osborne took a picture of this bike, which, is, which is, makes it an iconic bike. The only difference is Tom at the time had a frame that had a bunch of holes in it. Oh yeah, 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 the Swiss cheese looking one. The Swiss cheese one, uh, and, he, and he broke it. But the front end, the back end, everything else is, is still part of the original. Okay. Wink King, same guy, uh, did a new front end for it. Okay, so it was made by the same same fella and everything. Same guy, yeah, no, no, no difference. So. It's the same guy. Uh, Tom's still around, he used something else. Really fast. Yeah, and this was like this was raced on a lot of the downhill tracks in the seventies, right? Which these these tires and the moto mags and that suspension would have worked great for. Yeah, he, he was still he was still racing this when people were racing conventional BMX bikes. Really? Yeah, him and Billy Mack. Billy Mack had like something similar to it. Okay. So, what what makes this thing so uh, cool is that one of the iconic pictures from BMX that was taken by Wendy Osborne. Yeah. Daughter, it's will ever be in, in BMX history. Yeah. No, I mean, this is, I mean, and I'm a guy who came into BMX, you know, in 86 and on, but I recognize this bike just through like old magazines, you know, some documentaries. I think Tom Lunds and Joe Kid on a Stingray, I think he's got a bunch of stuff, and I think that bike's in there and some photos. So, yeah, this bike's just been popping up wherever I've been going. So, I, I was just wanted to chat with you about the history on it and stuff. I, Tom Long, it, again, Tom Long was pretty iconic in sci hack race, motorcycle side car racing. Yeah. He was also a very good BMX side hack racer. Yeah, and racing BMX side hack on those those downhills is no joke. Yeah. <laughs> I've done it. You know, I can't compare to those guys, but I raced with Dennis Day, and it's just pretty, pretty awesome pilot. So, well, awesome. I'm going to drop his name because he's a good dude, too. Yeah. Well, let me get a couple more shots of this. Yeah, I was looking at these tires earlier and I was honestly wondering if these were actual motocross tires. Yeah, they're, they're, they're off a uh, mini cycle. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, like the next R75 or stuff, they have the 16 inch. Because 16 inch um, motorcycle tires are the same thing as 20 inch BMX. Yep, that makes sense. So it just fit right in and the way it jumped. Ray Tom and those guys were riding this stuff jump off of it. So yeah. Those two, they needed something pretty hefty to get to get some traction into those gnarly downhill tracks. Yeah. Well, cool. Thank you for sharing this with me, Rick. I really appreciate it, man. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. We're just finishing up the day. Pulled up a cool stop. I'm going to load this rig up. We're unloading Anthony's rig. Kind of some bad news we got. Anthony, should we talk to him about the bad news we got about the bike? So our favorite vintage racer, we don't know yet. We'll get into it. Show him the spot. It's slightly too dark in here. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll, we'll make a whole another video about yeah. it. But the Haro, this is our first, this was like our first, our baby for Frogtown the first year, like kind of the bike that started all of us wanting to yes. race this we bought it for 70 bucks done a few things to it but like most of the haros we see a, a little bit i think there's a little crack starting right there so i'm gonna take some paint off of it and uh we'll see we may re-weld it right yes we don't care. It's a $70 Haro. So, uh... It's a finished job. 
it, it's done its job it's been fast and uh, we'll just keep modding on to this thing and it'll keep going so maybe we'll see it at dirty fest maybe all right all right it did the rad racing course today yes it did so all right well thanks for coming along with us guys and uh fingers crossed on the rig anthony's anthony's worried i hope so <laughs>